A long-awaited homecoming in Chantilly. Virginia Task Force One is back stateside after spending weeks sifting through the rubble of a devastating earthquake in Nepal. Mike Kaneen was there this morning for the heartfelt homecoming. 57 members of Fairfax County's Urban Search and Rescue Team received a hero's welcome today. There were hugs and kisses. There were also thank yous from Washington's Nepalese community. On April 25th, team members were actually in the middle of a training exercise. And when news broke of the devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Nepal, killing more than 8,200 people, they immediately deployed. Five days later, they pulled a 15-year-old boy from the rubble. Well, we were able to start an IV and give some medications, assess him medically, and for being in there as long as he'd been, he seemed to be fairly healthy for the situation. Then just this week, a massive 7.3 magnitude aftershock again rocked the region. And people just started running out of the buildings to get to a safe place. Trapped under what had been a four-story building, the team rescued a 41-year-old woman. We did a lot of good work over there, but it's good to be home. Each night, family members were provided updates by team leaders here at their Chantilly headquarters. Still, spouses say it was a difficult three weeks. I just stayed away from the news. I'm very happy that he was a part of this and I'm proud of him. Team members say when they saw Nepalese family suffering, they often thought of their own. I, every time, you know, you see um, kids being injured and everything else like that and really at home. In three weeks, team members miss Mother's Day and birthdays, but now they're looking forward to soccer games and swim meets. A return to normal with family. Feels good to be back. Yeah. Good Leave for it. all of us. Yeah, it feels better that. than good. Way better than good. In Chantilly, Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News.